Uh, welcome to, no, not welcome to back. Uh, welcome uh, back to. Uh, what? <laughs> yes, I've been told to start again by this rude <clears throat> over there. Um, yes, welcome to. No, right, once more. This will be the start when you know you can start a YouTube video and it's about to start. I steal that from the sheep game. <clears throat> welcome back. I can't see it. Ar I'm trying to say welcome back to Ar <laughs> Welcome Black <laughs> Right that's Welcome back everyone to R2K vlog number two Woo! That must be about attempt seven um, Thank you all for coming along uh, As I've said my plan is to do a This week podcast This week uh, vlog this week podcast so it'll be like 26 vlogs 26 podcasts in the year um, I will be quite a week I'm with Jess it's been uh, all good uh, started the week pretty busy with lambing or starting to get busy and uh, in this very pen my mum sent me with this really weird question I was to look at this sheep in this very strange way and I'm thinking what a load of nonsense has been spoken here I was already angry at mum and dad they've been really weird the whole day and then I heard this little uh, would you like a hand? And I thought, I don't recognise that voice. Turned round and the good lady had surprised, came along and helping on the farm with lambing time at this point. So that was nice. Uh, on Easter Sunday, uh, I had a uh, run in with my own shoulder and managed to get a mild concussion. So it's all been a good week. Um, we're now really in the sort of full flow of things here on the farm. Now we have 123 lambs out so far. Today you're going to see us put some more out, that's at one field, there's uh, about 20 out in another and then some of the ones born earlier, so we're looking probably well over that 200 landmark now, which is good. So, got the eyes and lambs at the trailer uh, and in the pickup, and um, I've also taken note of the numbers there because I want to say I want to know how many's on the field. So that's now 131 lambs been put out, and it's 82 yows. I can't just remember. Uh, that's just to the sort of bit that I'm sort of running at the minute. Uh, this lambing time, uh, we want to give them a, a wormer and a fluke dose. Fluke dose we're giving them Slokiver. The active ingredient there is Clozantil. It'll work against liver fluke, which is quite a problem here in, in sort of wet areas in Scotland. And uh, then the other one is Noramectin, which is the product with the active ingredient Ivermectin. Um, that's the wormer. Uh, so we'll just, Jess is popping it on now, and we'll just show you what dosing looks like. So I've set this that be, it'll be a double dose of Noramectin, just because the gun doesn't quite have the size for the for the yows. You'll see it goes in the side there, there's a sort of gap in the teeth. A gap in the teeth that you can get the the, the gun down, and that's them going. Thank you. 
So that's us here, time to put the yows and lambs out. But first, I've got a lot of ladies here that are pretty hungry, so trying to feed them in the ballpark of about 350, maybe 400 grams a day. There's 82 here, so that's just under 30 kilos if my calculations are correct. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed them first. Come on, come on! Feed them first. And then I'll basically shoot off her. I say I. I'll be told where to go probably. Uh, I think I've been filmed for the Instagram. Um, the It's all happening here, it really is. Check out World Kitchen on Instagram. Manned by this lovely lady, Jessica. Or womaned? Womaned by this lovely... I, I don't know what the words are. Um, I'll get them over here. We'll get a nice big long line of food down for them. They'll be busy eating. And we'll be able to shoot off the other side of the field. Drop these yows and lambs out without any bother. Massive. How do people cross their fingers without the other hand? I can't do it. Cross your fingers for me. Now they're all lined up and out the road. Time for us to head over there and get these out. So what we're going to do now, you'll see Jess looking at the yows there. Now I've said that she'll probably run and hide, but Jess is basically going to be... <laughs> Jess is going to be... Where's my finger? Pulling the lambs out the back of the pickup. I'm going to be in there. Guarantee she'll pick the wrong lambs. Some over to join us. Um, she'll pick the lambs closest to the front of the trail and I've got more work to do. I'll then let them out and hopefully they'll twin up with their mums. Wish us luck. It's only fittest farmer here I come. So for those of you that are from farms, maybe know what size those bags are. Uh, just, just don't listen to this bit because you'll know it anyway. For those of you that don't, each of those bags is about 120 kilos. So, uh, sorry. Just something funny about the shed looking weird, you know. Someday. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, Jess and I are here. Now we've got to feed the Yows and lambs in the middle pens. Well, feed the yows. Feed the yows in the group pens. What they get is basically one of those 120 kilo bags I was bringing up. One to each side. Uh, they've got Adlib access to silage. It's very hard to do. And uh, that lick block I just brought up as well. They've got one of those each. Uh, the yows will be getting some water. Uh, some silage which I'll just pass in from the, ba the from the bale there and uh, Jess will be giving them a wee pot of cake uh, so as I said you know big workout just carrying a quarter of a ton really there so it's uh, 
You alright again? <laughs> just I don't know what it is. It's, she's she's weird, that's all right. Um but what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and pop this camera up there and uh film we time lapse the whole thing happening. And I might even let Jess feed one of the group pens so she gets attacked. But it might be unfair giving her a bag that's 120 kilos. Yeah, true. I'm a nice guy. Chivalry is not dead. Uh, what? Uh, oh, there's lambs. Perfect. You cut what land. Well, I'm not moving this now. I've just put this up. It's uh, dangling on a piece of baler twine. I tell you, baler twine, the possibilities are endless. But what we're going to see is we're going to see Jess move a triplet. Uh, all, all three born, Jess, yeah? What? All three born. Perfect. Don't need any intervention, Bridge Farm Lambs, eh? <coughs> Very healthy looking trio. <coughs> so what you'll see Jess is doing there, she's keeping the lambs at the sort of height lambs should be at. So she wants to follow, she might not. If she doesn't, we can always catch up with her. She is also here in her other lamb. But I think it looks like it's working. So, we'll give them a wee dose of Spectam and also we will give them a, a, an application to the navel, a, a, base, a, a, a thing to prevent any uh, infection, that sort of thing. I'm just going to pop this in time lapse and you'll see the full sort of feeding system. Well, that was the end of our two K vlog number two. There's two twos in there, it makes it very difficult, it makes it like the R4 vlog. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you get to meet Jess today. Um, I'm trying to get Jess to tell us a bit about herself, but I don't think I'm going to get out of her. Uh, go ahead and check out the R2 Rural to Kitchen Instagram. Jess is sort of in charge over there, she's doing some pretty crazy things. It's been alive for, God, about four years now, and... Uh, it had about 30 posts up until uh, last week. So Jess has sort of been taken out to new heights and hopefully along with the Facebook page they can become quite he heavily followed. Um, hopefully this vlog starts doing quite well and a few more vlogs planned for the next couple of days because I'll be going working uh, back on the mainland so I won't be able to sort of vlog on the farm. Um, but check out Wellies Over Heels, at Wellies Over Heels on Instagram and also the R2 cast number four, was it? Can you remember? R2 cast on Jessica Ireland Hughes and uh, you'll listen to her rabble on for 40 minutes about herself so um, <laughs> we might get her to talk on camera one day but I think we're maybe not a loss today but thanks for coming along hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you for R2 K vlog number three